Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this hospitality dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page wherein we are showing the various analysis like how many total bookings, total revenue, average guest rating and revenue per booking. And here we are showing the average room rate per night. Then we are showing the total booking by the status. Here we can see the checked in, check out, no so or cancelled. We are showing that. And this is total booking by booking channel. We have taken four booking channel, mobile app, travel agency, website and booking. Then we are showing the total booking by the locations. We have taken the multiple locations and here total booking by the room type like deluxe, double, family, single or suite. And here we are showing the total booking by months also. So we are giving the detailed analysis here and we have created multiple slicers on the right hand side. So you can just filter using any service type, let's say, or you can use the room type also, or you can use the locations also, whichever location you want to use, or you can use the check-in or check-out status also. Now we have created some more pages to show the revenue analysis. So just click on the revenue analysis page and here we are showing the total revenue by location. Okay. And this is the total revenue by the booking channel. This is total revenue by the room type. And here we are showing the total revenue by month. Again, you can use the various uh, slicers here like location wise or you can use the status or the service used wise also. So it's up to you how you want to use. And then we are showing the guest rating also. So you can click on this button to take the guest rating and uh, guest behavior and rating page. And we are showing here the average guest rating by the booking channel. Okay. And let's filter out this one. And then we are showing the average of guest rating by the location. This is average of the guest rating by the room. And here we are showing the average of the guest rating by the service used. So you can see the various ratings here. This is the rating we have taken one to five. And out of five, you can see how the different guest has rated this. And then let's go to the service uses inside space. And we are showing the total booking by the service used. So we have taken the service used here. Number of night stay at uh, service used. You can see that then uh, total revenue by the service used also. Okay, so this is what we have created. Now I will show you the data also of this dashboard and I will show you how you can update the data in this dashboard and how you can quickly refresh this dashboard. So let's go to the file and then go to the options. Then go to the advanced and just scroll it down. Here we can see we have one option that is so seat tab. It is under the display option for this workbook. Just check this, then click on OK. Now we can see the various worksheets here. So all the worksheets which we have used are appearing here. And we have the data sheet. So let me show you the data also. We have here booking ID. Then we have here guest name, room type, service used, location, booking channel, status, check-in date. Then we have here night stay, number of nights. And then the ratings. And this is the room per room rate per night okay and here we have the checkout date this is the total revenue and here we have the month month we have created on the basis of check-in date then we have the year year also being created on the basis of check-in date okay so you just need to update your data you can delete this data just keep the headers and you can paste your data here and then you can just go to the data tab and just say refresh all the whole dashboard will be refreshed automatically now I'll come to the support sheet and I will show you what we have created here. So in the support sheet, we have created various pivot table to create the these all pages. And here we have created various charts. So we have used the these pivot table to create those charts. Now you can see we have all these pivot table on the overview seats. So on the overview seat, we have top cards. Then we have these five charts. That means we have here 10 pivot tables okay for the overview now for the next page we have given here this highlight this is revenue analysis 
and then for the revenue analysis we have four pivot table if i come to the revenue analysis you can see we have four pivot table then i can show you this is the guest behavior and rating we have four pivot table again then here we have some other pivot table for the next page service uses so that is how we have created this dashboard and i will show you how you can create the charts and designs also in the designs what we have done you can see you can't click anywhere because this sheet is protected so you can simply go to the review and just say unprotect it will not ask for any password because it was protected without any password now you can just click anywhere and you can see you are able to select the chart okay so let me show you how you can work with this so let's say here on the top we have created card so this is the separate text box and in the back end we have a separate rectangle and this is the separate rectangle you can see and this is the separate rectangle so what we have done we have created the hyperlinks here let me show you if i press ctrl k then you can see it is linked with the overview page if i come here on the second button and i press ctrl k then this is linked with the revenue analysis okay so each button is linked with the different page according to the name of the pages and if i come here then you can see we have highlighted this button so that we can say this is activated okay currently this is the active sheet and if i come here then this is activated so that is how we have created this design now coming to the chart part i will show you how we have created the charts first let me show you the cards so to create the card what you can do let's say i'm inserting a one sheet here and let me go to the view and uncheck the grid lines from here and let's say i'm just filling some background color here so just select this range and let's fill some background color so just go to the home and let's take some green color light green this one and then to create a card you just need to insert one shape so i'm just inserting this rectangle this one which is rounded corner just drag that rectangle here pick this yellow handle and move slightly to the left hand side now we can fill here white color this one shape outline you can choose this green outline and just go to the bait of the outline and let's take half point so we have created a box like this similarly we have created here you can provide some shadow also if you want so just click on this go to the save format save effect shadow and let's select this one this one or whatever you want so let's say i have taken this one and now you can see it is looking like a card then go to the insert and insert a text box here over this let's drag that text box here click on the outline of this text box go to the formula bar press equal to then go to the support sheet and let's say i want to show the total revenue so i'll click on the header of this and just hit the enter we can see that header is appearing here now let's go to the format and say shape outline as no outline shape fill as no fill and you can take the text color as this green color or little darker this one and make this bold and slightly bigger again take the text color this one or this one all right so we can see the header here now let's make a copy of this so you can select this and press ctrl d but before that let me align this center and middle now press ctrl d and let's keep this here and go to the formula bar and press equal to come to the support sheet and then click on this one now as i clicked you can see it is showing me the get pivot data if i hit the enter it is showing some error so what we can do to get the rid of this problem we can simply delete this and let's delete this till here and here we are taking h3 if i hit the enter it is taking the h3 but we need the h4 so we can type here manually h4 then we can see the value of the h4 the another way you can do this just go to the support sheet and click on any of the pivot table then go to the pivot table analyze options and just uncheck the generate get pivot data now just come here and let me delete this formula and press equal to if i come here and click here it will not show that get pivot data formula and just hit the enter so we can see the relevant data here now you can further format this so let's make this green or little darker green make this bold slightly bigger okay so this is ready now you can create the other charts also to create the other chart you can make the duplicate of that box and you can create the 
other cards also i will show you how, one of the chart how we have created so let me take the chart here so let's say i have taken this chart any of this chart you can take let's say this one or this one so how we can create this type of chart so first let me come to the support sheet and let's select any of the pivot let's say this one just go to the insert and insert a column chart normal column chart then here in the pivot chart analyze just go to the field button and just say hide all and from here just remove the grid lines as well as legend okay so this chart is for the region wise or location wise total booking so we can say total bookings by location okay now let me cut this chart from here control x and let's paste this chart here you can make this slightly bigger the box and then you can place this chart over this and make this slightly smaller all right then you can re remove the outline of the chart as well as remove the background color of the chart so just select the chart go to the format save fill as no fill save outline as no outline okay so now we can put some picture here saves here so you can copy some kind of picture like i have taken here or you can take some shapes also so i will show you how you can insert a shape let me go to the insert and let's say i want to take some shape of uh, this arrow up arrow and just click here and then you can fill some colors so let's say i'm saying no outline for this and i'm filling some green color like this as well as i will go to the gradient also from here and just select this gradient now copy this and select this column and paste now right click go to the format data series and we will decrease the gap bit slightly now we can say we we can see we have the pictures here or the shapes here similarly to this shape you can paste the pictures also like we have pasted here pictures okay now you can add the data labels right click add the data labels and data labels are visible here now to make it dynamic you can insert the slicers also so just click on any of the pivot just insert the slicer from the insert or pivot table analyze then go to the insert slicers let's say i want to insert the slicer for room type or you can take the others also booking channel now cut the slicer from here Control x come to the seat one and just paste that here now if i click you can see everything is getting changed so this is dynamic okay chart is also getting changed and the card also getting changed so that is how we have created this type of uh, dashboard and the charts if you want to learn more about the pivot tables charts and the advanced uh, dashboards you can join our course we have given the link in the video description box Inside that course, we have explained each and everything how you can create the advanced level of the chart like battery chart, speedometer chart and some other infographics like we have created here as well as we will explain how you can create the custom slicer like this we have created. Okay, And we will provide you the practice file for each and every topic. So the link is given in the video description box. You can join our course at the discounted rate using that link. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.